Hello and welcome to the Friday bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I'm going to be attempting to do just that and solve today's Times Cryptic crossword, which is apparently quite difficult. Um, let's just go quickly to the snitch. You can see the snitch rating, which is an unofficial rating of the difficulty of the crossword, is 120. And I think they, the snitch is aimed to create um, 100 would be an average difficulty times puzzle. And if we scroll down and you have a look at the last few weeks, you can see 120... So it's probably the second most difficult puzzle in the last month. Um, and yeah, so it ought to be a challenge. Let's, um, well, let's see how we get on. I will try and talk through all thought processes such as they occur to me. And let's see if I've got the window in the right place. All looks fine. Right. Steep rocks traversed by Snoop. Hmm. Steep. Uh, Okay, here are my thought processes here. My first thought process was this was an anagram. Oh. Okay, I've had a... <laughs> having got lots of thought, thought processes. Not being very descriptive, though. Um, so, steep, I thought might be rocking. It might be an anagram of steep. But then I couldn't see how I was going to get an extra letter. Um, but I have actually spotted a possible way that we could do that. Um, but I'll come back to that. Then I thought maybe it was going to be that rocks could be diamonds and diamonds, the synonym for diamonds, would be ice. So I wondered if it would be ice inside a word for a snoop. By snoop. To snoop is to pry. Pricey. It is. Okay. All right. I'll go back to the other thought process I had. I wondered whether by could be X, actually. Because if you say three, three by four would be a way of saying three times four. So I wondered whether it might be an anagram of steep traversing X, so around X, but it's not. It's um, pricey. If something is steep in price terms, it is expensive. So that's great. So one down, flag waving patriotism in the vicinity of disturbance captured by photo patriotic. Yes, it's something like that, because I can see that's got riot in the middle of pick somehow. I, I'm not sure quite how this works, but I think it's going to be right. So flag waving. OK, if you're in the vicinity of something, you're at it. If you're in the vicinity of an event, you're at the event. So it's at a disturbance is a riot and that's captured. That's all captured by a short synonym for a photo, which is a pick. And this is this is a good start, actually. So now we've got two down to look at. Tropical lizards, iguanas. Okay, all right. Well, there's normally one of these in every time's crossword. And I remember when I was when I was butter boy and learning how to do cryptic crosswords. These were always the clues that I thought I might be able to solve. So I would hunt for these in every puzzle. Um, and these are hidden answers where literally the answer is spelt out in the clue. Now. When you have a hidden answer, the, th the important thing to remember is it's not acceptable for a cryptic crossword writer, a clue writer, to just hide the answer in the clue and not tell you that it's hidden there. There must be something in the clue that tells you you can find the answer in, in the letters. And here it's inhabiting. So you can see that the answer, which is iguanas, is that it is inhabiting, literally it's inhabiting the phrase Antiguan ash heaps, spelt out I-G-U-A-N-A-S. So, and tropical lizards obviously is, is the definition. There always is a definition in every cryptic crossword clue. Let's see if we can get three down. Um, prepare for cruise. Embark with letter on outside of trunk. Yeah, well, the, I, think, I think what this is saying is M is a letter, E-M. So you may say, well, that's ridiculous. You can't have spellings for letters. Yes, you do. Every letter, believe it or not, has a spelling. So if we want it, let me, let me show you, actually. Um, let's look up M in the dictionary. There you go, the 13th letter of the alphabet. Let's do another one. T, does T have a spelling? There you go, it does, T double E. Um, I'm trying to think of another one that my S, E double S, uh, E double S, E double S, the night. Oh, oh, in fact, E S can just be E S as well, as well as E double S. I didn't know that. OK, so M and then the outside of a trunk, the outside of a trunk of a tree is bark. M bark would be to prepare for a cruise. A cruise. So this must be thumb, mustn't it? 
Yeah, ha okay, so this is a cryptic definition. Uh, your opposable your opposable digits are your thumbs, and they are on your hands. So handy source of opposition is nothing to do uh, with something that's, you know, something that is useful. It's literally something about your hand that is a source of opposition. Um, and that's a, that clue is made so much easier by having those checking letters. Imagine start trying to solve this without without that hint, without the T blank U blank B. Uh, you, you probably never get it. 11 across. Foolishly canoeing. That sounds like an anagram of canoeing. Across river. Not having had instruction. Uh, ooh, some ignorance, is it? I think it's ignorance. Um, you're in a state of not having had instruction if you're in a state of ignorance. And it looks, it feels like it's an anagram of canoeing. Canoeing is, the letters of canoeing are treated foolishly. And that goes across R, which is a valid abbreviation for river. Again, I say this every week, but it bears repetition. You can't just abbreviate any word to its initial. It has to be supported by the dictionary. And if we go to R in the dictionary and we click through, hopefully there, there we go, river. Hopefully you can see where the cursor is moving. Um, so that is why we can, th th this word river is synonymous with the letter R in the clue. Now, what's this going to be? Tusk, I'm going to guess. No, chum's pants. Chum. Ah, now this is terrifying. Why can't I just get that? Uh, hang on. Chum. Your chum is your friend. Chum, I think, might be a word for food as well. Uh, pants, obviously, that can mean a number of things. To pant can be to gasp. Pants can, as in what you wear. Oh, dear, dear, dear. What's going on? Why can't I just write that in? That's going to That's going to throw me completely. See this, I mean, this is just totally inept. I mean, how can I be this daft? Chums, <laughs> what's going on? Chums, uh, I'm so sorry. I, I don't know what that is. I'm completely thrown by that. Okay, we'll come back to it. Oh, that's going to, hopefully my subconscious will be working away on it. Uh, 18 across, unmanageable figures with no opening within reach. The way I read this is that it's a word that means unmanageable. And then we have a word for figures that don't have their opening letter. I was wondering about digits without, without its opening letter. Idgits. Uh, and that goes in a word for reach because it's within a word for reach. If you reach something, do you come to it? I'm wondering if unmanageable come come uh, if something's unmanageable it's completely chaotic hmm. uh, I haven't got that I'm not sure um, why don't we try four down upsetting competition for Perrier is not wise if something's not wise it's inane Upsetting, oh, Evian, naive. Okay, so competition for Perrier water might be Evian, which is another um, uh, another type of water, bottled water. And if we upset it, we get naive, which means not wise. Now that gives us an N. Perhaps one's undoing, last of aspirin, being sick. I thought this might be nailing, but I don't think it is. Uh, the way I got to nailing was the last letter of the word aspirin is N, last of aspirin. And if you're sick, you're ailing. So N and ailing gives you nailing, perhaps one's undoing. Is that a nailing? I don't, it doesn't feel right, does it? Maybe if there was a, can we check whether that's going to be a G? Blacken or scorch outside, medium inside. To blacken, to char. Scorch outside, me, medium I think can be M. So we might be looking for, 
a word with an M in it. And to scorch is to sear, smear. Yes, okay. I was thinking of blacken as in literally to darken. But if you blacken someone's name, you smear them. Right, so nailing is not right. Nauseous. Or nauseous. Perhaps numbers, perhaps ones. Perhaps one is num a number. Undoing last of aspirin, being sick, one's undoing, nemesis. Yes, I think that's right. Okay, so if you take an emetic, it makes you sick, doesn't it? So emesis is probably a word which means be actually the act of being sick. Nemesis, and that obviously one's undoing is, is one's nemesis. I quite like that as an answer. So what's this then? Muscadet, wine region. Uh, note, preserving essence of vin ordinaire. Um, I want to say Minav Minavoir, is that a wine region? Oh, I'm not sure. Muscadet. <laughs> Um, Merso, my favourite white wine. Um, note, well, that's going to be a musical note, like, I suppose like a minim, but it could, I'm thinking more uh, M I or M E, do, re, mi, that has two spellings, that me, M, M E and M I. Preserving essence of van, essence of van is like the heart of the word van, I think that's going to have I. So perhaps it's M I ends in E for, and then we need a word for ordinaire here. Ooh, wine region. I'm not sure. I haven't got that. Obviously, um, eight down. School introducing new software for some hard stuff. School. School is a funny one in cryptic crosswords because it does have a lot of short synonyms. The classic sh short synonym for actually the name of a school is Eton, and that does come up, uh, especially if you reverse Eton, you get note, which is quite a useful thing for, for constructors to utilize. School can also be SCH, but a school of uh, a school of fish could be a pod or something like that. A pod is a useful short synonym some hard stuff is that mean it's the name of an alcohol or the name of literally something hard granite new and what's introducing new software what's new software i don't know beta uh app a double p schnapps good grief that's right i don't believe it okay well, that's just total luck um, okay, so how did I get that? Well, I thought new could be N, and then I thought software could be app, and then I was trying to think of nappy, <laughs> but then I thought of schnapps, and schnapps must be right. That is hard stuff, isn't it? So school introducing. I oh, see. So the way this works, actually, it's not software. Software isn't app, singular. It's apps, plural. Um, so we've got school, S-C-H, introducing before N, and apps for schnapps, which is hard stuff. Right, so let's, or, or almost relax must be chill without the end. With daughters round about looking after their child care or something. I think it's child care. Um, so the way I read this is almost relax is chill without its last letter because it's almost the word relax, not all of it. That goes with D for daughters. If something, if you make an uh, an estimate that's around the right figure, you'd say it was circa that figure, CA. And that that does come up a lot, circa for for round or almost and things like that. And then about, if something is re something re, it is about it. So that gives childcare. And looking after them question mark is the definition. And the reason that this question mark is at the end is that normally in a cryptic crossword, the definition, definition should stand alone. So we should be able to cut this clue after the word about and, and have a wordplay piece and a definition piece. But here, the, the, the word them is referring back 
to the fact that looking after one's daughter might well be childcare. So we're borrowing from the wordplay in order for, for the definition. And that is why that question mark is necessary. Oh, so what's this then? Oh, that's this is not a wine I've thought of, is it? Uh, wine region. Medoc. Mediocre. Oh, goodness, that would be clever. If that's mediocre, I really think that's a very clever clue because I was certain that it was going to be a wine region. Um, so Medoc for the wine region. Yes, okay, so we said, I said Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Di, Do, and I thought that the note, the musical note we needed was Mi. It's not, actually. It's Re, Do, Re, and that spelling of Re, we've, we've actually looked at Re in the context of it meaning about something let's look up re here and we will see uh, so so re in commercial jargon means concerning with reference to we saw that in the last clue but what's re number second meaning the second note of the scale do re me so what we've got is medoc re preserving essence of i so preserving means including in this way essence of the word van so that's the i here and that gives mediocre an ordinaire question mark again the constructor is being a little bit naughty because ordinaire is not uh, an english word i'm pretty sure if i look it up in the dictionary we will not find it but it's very clear oh what was it there actually ordinaire i'm not i don't think it's going to be that it's obviously french for something that's ordinary or mediocre uh, but but the constructor wanted to use the phrase van or ordinaire in order to go along with the wine region so, so that the, the clue had a natural flow to it um, so again it's 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 clearly correct but that is why the question mark is necessary it, question marks often mean something a little bit quirky so 12 across something greater than family selection from menu um, something greater than family selection from menu whenever i see menu nowadays i always think of like windows menu so i'm thinking copy and paste and words like that i don't think there is one beginning with o though is there order i suppose a selection a selection from a menu would be an order yeah i actually i think this is this is taxonomy this is related to this clue i i'm not sure about this but i think what this is saying if, if you if you're a taxonomist you're sort of classifying species i think you might have a family and then it probably and then you get an order like you might get an order of butterflies or something and then you probably get a genus and then you probably get something else but order i think is probably a, a taxonomical term i'm not changing my answer so let's just see whether we see anything like that in the definition um uh are we seeing anything it could well be here it's such a long definition that i'm trying to scan it i'm not seeing it I'm not seeing it there necessarily or well, not quite in the way I was expecting a class of society ah here we go a group above a, a group above a family but below a class in biology so I, I think I was almost right with that now what's this stand up rise okay if you rise you stand up and a joker you might describe a, st a stand up comedian so stand up is going to be right. Now, what's this word? Um, and again, sometimes I just think it is good to take a look at the letters before you before you pollute your mind with the clue. I, I am I'm not thinking of anything here. I'm thinking. No, I can't, I'm trying to think what this might end in. Roffy or something. P P H Y. I don't know. A male line. Apostrophe apostrophe the apostrophe is going to be the answer address oh actually maybe it's not then yeah i'm pretty sure it is it's something like a for the a in the clue mail i want that to be post line is a rope 
yeah and then that includes h for hotel hotel is the international radio code word uh, for the letter h so it gives us apostrophe and now obviously i know a dr to a to address is to apostrophe to address something it probably is i'm just not not very good on the sort of classical classical languages um i cannot see how this cannot be the right answer from the wordplay i mean i'm wondering whether if you spill it the clue after the the l of hotel then there is an apostrophe there. So I'm wondering if it's like, that uh, would have to have a question mark. If we're really saying it's that apostrophe in hotel, because the definition is, a, is that symbol's address, what would you call that symbol there? I mean, that would be very clever, wouldn't it? But that apostrophe must be right. It must be the right. I'm just going to have another look at this. Chum's pants. Something's pants, it's terrible, isn't it? It's Tosh. Chum. Hello, Tosh got a Toshiba. Do you remember that advert, Hello, Tosh got a Toshiba? I used to have a friend at school called Plodder. And Plodder claims that he came up with that sentence, Hello, Tosh got a Toshiba. And Tosh would have been a friend in that. And Tosh, it could be Tosh. <laughs> Is this, a, is this a reference to my friend Plodder? Or my old friend Plodder, who I've not seen for a long time. Um, I don't know, that's my best, that's my, I'm not putting it in. I'm not, not at all confident. But that's, that's, my, that's my only thought about this so far. Wells found here, spars, supply, supply. Don't forget, supply and supply are spelt the same. And if something is treated supply, you can anagram it. Um, so I'm wondering if this might be, this might be the name of a moss that I don't know, which is SPAS for spars, places you might find wells, and then an anagram of tree. Oh, I hope it's not that because I'm not going to know the word. Uh, 16 down. So French to be receiving kiss. Monsieur C. Whenever you see the word C in a cryptic crossword, you have to be aware of all sorts of things. Um, a C could be a diocese, and the shortest diocese that crops up all the time in cryptic crosswords is Ely. Uh, Ely has a cathedral. It is therefore uh, a, a religious C, S C. Let me just show you the word C so we can see what I'm talking about. There we go. Here we go, a cathedral city. So Ely is, is I'm wondering if E, this ends in Ely. French to be, okay, etre is the French word, or French verb to be, isn't it? Receiving ki extremely, there we go. Oh yes, I understand this. So, okay, so I, I, I wasn't misleading you with this one. So the answer is, or the definition is just the word so. And it doesn't mean so as in ergo. It means if something is so good, it's extremely good, isn't it? And that is etre for the French word to be. And that receives a kiss. If you write a birthday card, you might put an X at the bottom as a kiss. Then M for monsieur. Again, you may say, gosh, is monsieur in an English dictionary? Oui, monsieur. It is. Let me show you. There. <laughs> monsieur. M and then uh, C for the cathedral, Ely. There we go, so extremely. Now, what we really want here is not to build on these rubbishy letters, Mal. The Y might be okay. I'm going to try and get 23 down. Grand House, Manor, excludes liberal. Section of society. Uh, it's going to mean. It's going to mean a section of society. I, I, I thought of caste there, C A S T E. It's not that, I don't think. Grand house is like a grange or a, um, I want a, I want a grand house that's losing L for liberal. So six letter word for a grand house with an L in it. That's all we have to do and we'll solve this clue. Um, chalet is not a grand house. Uh, hmm. Hmm. 
I will mention one other thought I've had, um, which I don't think is going to apply here, but I'll mention it anyway. If you see the word house, um, I think that the signs of the zodiac are individually described as houses, and therefore a house would include Leo. Um, and therefore, and if Leo excluded its L, you would get EO. But I can't see how that's relevant here. Uh, let's try 23 across. A jackal is one. A scavenger. To preserve primitive instincts. A jackal is one. Now, one thing I will say is when I read this clue, I want it feels like it might be a hidden to me, but it can't be a hidden because an unwritten rule of the Times crossword is you can only have one hidden in a puzzle. So if you find the hidden, don't look for another hidden. This will not be a hidden. He says confidently and then it will be, but it, no, it really won't be. A jackal is one. A dog. To preserve primitive instincts. Primitive in what are primitive instincts? Urges. Um, I don't know what that is at all. Nineteen down. Humans relying on replacement of outsiders with qualified doctor. Oh goodness. Humans relying on replacement of outsiders. I mean with qualified doctor. I haven't got a clue what that is. I have no idea. Let's try that one. Review volunteer fighters might be ter territorial army TA once admitting death in hostile campaign. Ooh, again, this 19 and 17 down are horrible clues in the sense that there's just not much not much to get your teeth in. Maybe we do have to start over here. Some power. Okay, what about a watt? A watt is a unit of power. Painter has to dismiss Monet's water. Oh yeah, that's right then. Watto was a painter, wasn't he? W-A-T-T-E-A-U, I think, was a painter. And Monet's water. Monet was a French painter, and his word for water would have been O. Um or not Evian, <laughs> or Perrier. Um, so what, I'm pretty sure, is right there. So Seaman with forward letting go. Okay, if you see Seaman or Sailor, very often it's AB, Able Seaman, with forward letting go. Uh, with forward letting go. Ab if you let go, you... You excuse. You pardon. You letting go. Letting go makes it sound like it ends in ing, doesn't it? I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. Let's try 24 down. County that's not so forthcoming to auditors. Okay, so let's talk about the word auditors. You may think we're talking about the accounting firms here, <laughs> but actually things like KPMG, it's not a great collection of letters, is it? Um, PWC, no, again, not great. EY, I suppose, you might use EY. Um, but, but no, it's not talking about auditors like that. It's talking about auditors of people who hear who use their auditory senses. So, yeah, so, so this is a generic word for a county. It's not actually, it could have been an actual name of a county. It's actually a generic word for a county that sounds like um, to be not so forthcoming. If you're not so for forthcoming, you are shy. If you're not so forthcoming, you're shyer than something else. And therefore, we're looking for this word, this spelling, which, um, because the not so forthcoming version would not be spelled like this, but it would sound exactly the same. So it's a homophone. And now 24 across, strange R, is it Argot? I, I would say Argo. Strange Argo, comprehended by reliable proxy. Argo is like, 
you know, it's like a way of speaking, isn't it? It's a slang, strange. Strange Argo makes me think it's an anagram of strange, comprehended by reliable. So I need a four letter word that means reliable. Sure, maybe? And it, a post, surrog surrogate, that's right. A proxy is a surrogate. Okay, so we got that by the wordplay again. I'm, I'm, I am, I think in general, much better at wordplay than I am at definitions. So we've got Argo anagrammed, ensure for reliable. And that gives us the answer. So 22 down, let's see. Show gusto around Duke, wife and migrant. Well, Duke can be D, wife can be W. Show gusto, zeal? No. Um, migrant. I don't know. Let's see if we can get 26. Shoe with A lip oh this is simply going to be a case of thinking <laughs> i think the source no it's going to be the all we have to do here is think of a shoe <laughs> that fits this pattern um a clog doesn't um shoe with a lip i thought of source if you if you have if you show lip you're saucy aren't you um What about wedge? Could we could we argue wedge is correct here? I mean, the A is the A is a bit naughty. I think. I think wedge is a type of shoe. And the way I think this works from a wordplay perspective is W can be an abbreviation for with, and a lip is an edge. But but my question would be, how does this clue change if we said shoe with lip? A lip is an edge. We don't need the indefinite article there. So the indefinite article is a bit misleading. But I think I think I've heard of a shoe. I think a, sh a shoe and a wedge. But I might be I might be wrong. But I, that's oh, I quite like W as well because wasn't there a W in this one? So this looks like it's got this configuration. So show gusto around duke wife and migrant um hmm, i don't know let's try that one high vault full of metal golly um High. If something's high, the thing is high. High is a difficult word. High can mean altitude. It can mean drugged. Let's try. Let's go back to twenty-one down. Seaman with forward letting go. Quite like abandon. If you show gay abandon, you, you let go, don't you? So that would be able semen, A, B. If something is with something, it's and it. And then if you're forward, you're in an advanced position, you're on. You're further on. So I quite like abandon, letting go. Yeah, I quite, I think that's that feels right. Now, now... Oh, I wonder if that's something like Godwit. I wonder if... I wonder if there's... A, I wonder if a Godwit is a, um, a migratory bird. Show gusto. Go it. Uh, well, the reason I'm, and the reason I think I've thought of Godwit is I want to put a metal in here. Now, that's awkward. Because what we could be doing is putting the chemical symbol from the periodic table for a metal in this answer. But that would be a little bit harsh. And the other short synonym for a metal that we could put in is tin. So I quite like, I quite like tin now. I th I'm thinking, thinking of the word stingy for some reason. But I don't think that means high. 
What about stinky? I quite like stinky as well, in the sense that if if something is high, it's it's off, and it would be stinky. And to sky and to vault, if you vault, I quite like that. Is a vault is is or or, or can two vault be to sky? Or is it a vault as in, you know, like a, a bank vault? And can we think of a short synonym? Almost certainly begins with S. S blank Y, a word for vault that isn't sky. Sty, stinty, no. Um, spy, no, don't like that. Let me just get, let me just think about this for a moment because I don't want to mislead you and guess at an answer. Um... Sly, don't like it. Mm. I, I, can't, I can't think of a better explanation. And that I think this must be Godwit then, which is absolutely, I mean, that's very difficult. And I don't know it as a, I mean, I, I, I know it as a word. And I think it's a bird. Um, I wouldn't be able to tell you what type of bird it is. And I can't picture it in my mind. And it, let's just see, show gusto. If you go it alone, if you go it, is that an expression meaning to show gusto? It might be, not one I know, but that would that would that would justify go it would then be around D for Duke and W for wife. So I'll I'll leave Godwit in, but I think we'll we'll check this one at the end. Um, Right, so let's try that one. What's that one? Oh, that's the wells with the anagram of tree, maybe. Oh, I tell you what, there's no, hang on. What about if it's an anagram of tree moss? Wells found here. Somerset. Yes, okay. Somerset, I think, is a city in some, sorry, Wells is a city in Somerset. Um, and then, so it subtly is an anagram indicator. But it's a, not an anagram of tree. It's an anagram of tree and moss. Ah, now look. Well, we're not really. Well, we've got. This probably ends in some, doesn't it? Unmanageable. Cumbersome or something. Yeah, that's right. Numbers. <laughs> okay. So, yes. Okay. So I thought of come as possible for uh, reach. If you, if you come somewhere, you reach there. And then numbers are the figures with no opening, so we cross the N out and we put get cumbersome. Now that gives us an, an M in this one. Humans, relying, men, humans? That's not very good, is it? Relying on replacement of outsiders with qualified doctor. Humans relying on replacement. Humans relying on. I'm not sure what the definition is here. I think qualified doctor, I think is probably going to be something like MO or MB. I mean, there are lots of abbreviations for doctors, GP, DR. Qualified doctor medic. Humans relying on replacement of outsiders. I don't know. I mean, what do, what what does that mean? Replacement of outsiders. That sort of makes you think of the outside letters of a word being replaced. But that would be very harsh if we're looking for sort of a seven-letter word, and we've got to replace the outside letters. I don't know. I'm not sure. We've got maybe Tosh. Okay, let's try. Have we oh, we've looked at this one. Review. Volunteer fighters. I mean, there's things like the British Expeditionary Force, things like that, that I don't know if they were volunteers or not. BF, review, B, B, F, admitting once, admitting death in hostile campaign. Review can sometimes be reverse, I think, as well. Volunteer fight. So if we have to reverse. 
a word or an abbreviation for volunteer fighters once, which will mean in the past. That's got to admit, death, death could be end. So what about that? So I think, I think this is going to be a hostile campaign. That's what it's, what I think that the definition is. Hostile campaign. That's a weird one, isn't it? Um, Hmm. Now, if that's right, I'd have a D at the end of this one. A jackal is one. Ugh. To, to preserve primitive instincts. I'd much rather have an S here. Let's try that one. Have I looked? Oh, I haven't looked at this. Oh, that's in this anagram of a link ties. You can, I don't know how I can see that instantly, but you just, I, the more of these you do, the more au fait you will get with spotting strange collections of letters that look wrong and then all you're looking to do after that is see whether a word on either side of it or a phrase on either side of it within the clue indicates an anagram and the word diabolical to me screams anagram so this is going to be an anagram of a link ties uh, and it means oh and it's opposite so probably opposite of the word diabolical so i'm now thinking saint like which must be right i think Okay, and that's awful because we get no really good checking letters. We'd rather that K had been in a different place. Let's try that one again then. Oh, this is the Grand House. Excludes liberal section of... Oh, Castle. Oh, God, don't believe it. I didn't think of Castle when I thought... I even said, oh, I think the answer... I thought of Cast and then I didn't understand. I am I mean, that's totally and utterly unforgivable. Sorry. So a section of society is a caste. I just didn't think of a grand house. To me, a castle and a grand house are not the same thing. A castle is, you know, it's like a fort. It's a defensive structure. It's not a grand house, but I can see how it could be. So, okay, what's this one? Last plays, endgame. Well, Beckett's, Beckett's play was endgame. So endgame is right there. Um, clever, clever pluralization because you think you're looking for something with an S in it, but you're not. The, the, the last plays of a game are defined as the end game, aren't they? Oh, look at that. An A. At the, vendetta. Hostile campaign. Okay, so I, I think I was close to think, seeing that in my brain, but my brain let me down. So review, vet. Volunteer fighters was the territorial army, TA. That goes around end for death to give me vendetta now do we try this one or this one let's try this one. Oh, a jackal again a jackal is one to preserve basic oh okay i know what this is okay to preserve is to can and your primitive instincts i think is is a isn't the id isn't that a freudian expression for your psyche your id and that would give canid which i think is like canine i think it has the same root and i think a jackal is a type of dog isn't it um so i think it's probably is technically a canid or however you say that so mankind for humans that's going to be right relying on replacement of outsiders well, how does this work with qualified doctor humans mankind <laughs> relying on replacement of outsiders oh okay so so md is a medical doctor so we so relying on is going to be blank a n k i n probably g relying on um banking if you so if you're relying on something you're banking on it so you had to think of the word banking and replace the outside letters with an abbreviation for a qualified doctor now i will submit to you that that is very very hard indeed um i was nowhere near getting mankind before before literally we got all the checking letters okay <laughs> unfortunately we're still left here <laughs> now <laughs> now 
Okay, well, this 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 letter is a vowel. Uh, I'm very sure about that. So maybe we should think about this letter. Um, okay, well, this is the letter I'm now thinking about. I don't think it doesn't feel like it's an E to me. It probably means it is an E. I can't really think of a good. I think there are words that fit with an E there, but they're not words that will come up in the Times crossword. They might come up in the listener crossword. Um, so H we thought about a bit. And Tosh. Tush. I don't think Tush. Could they be pants? If something's pants. I don't like that. I think Tosh is better. So, and if it's not H, K is another possibility, isn't it? Task. Tusk. Don't like it, though. And then you're into words like test, I think. And I don't think that that... I'm becoming more and more convinced the answer is Tosh. So I might, I'm going to put Tosh in and thank Plodder if this is right. I'll send this video to my friend Phil as well. He'll remember Plodder. Um, I can't remember Plodder's actual name. Isn't that awful? He was just Plodder. Um, I really hope it is Plodder. Actually. Well, <laughs> I hope the answer is Tosh because it would be quite funny. Um... Now, nah, I'm not going to come up with any, anything better. Right, how do we do this? Oh, yes. Now, somebody said that once I finished, I had to not... I submit without leaderboard. That way I don't pollute the snitch by having... A, it was... That's right, isn't it? It's given me... I think that's... I think it's saying that's right. Let's see. Can we... Am I here somewhere? Or is that too slow because I took too long to do it? So I don't make the top 100 because I took too long to do it. Um, because I was explaining, but I think it is right. The time has stopped. Check. I, th I think it's right. I don't... Will it, will it let me to move to a different answer? Well, let, I mean, the way to check. I think it's right. I think it, I think it would be clearer if it was wrong. Let's look up Tosh in the dictionary. Twaddle. Uh, well, that's, I think that's the same as pants, isn't it? Trim, friendly, in a neat manner. Yeah, okay. So Tosh is a friend or a chum. It literally says chum. So Tosh is right. Um, now, I want to look at Goit, actually, and Godwit, which clearly was right in the end. Godwit is a bird of the plover family. Um, I'm never sure with plover whether it's meant to be plover. I want to say plover as in clover, but I think people say plover. Let's look at that. Plover. Yeah, it's very clear. The, the red bit is the pronunciation guide and it's clearly saying plover there. Um, sorry, and I was looking up Godwit, wasn't I? So does it say it's a migratory bird? No, but it says, I suppose it says it's a plover. Maybe plover says it's a migratory bird. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, well, to, to go it then, let's look up that. Yeah, there we go. Go it to act in a striking or dashing manner. And what was the what was the bit what was the clue there? It was something it was something like that, wasn't it? To show gusto. Well, yeah, I think we've got to agree that's probably fine. Um Were there any other sources of Oh, Amesis. Let's look up Amesis. Amesis, there we go, as a noun vomiting. So that we can't argue with that being valid. Um now let's just go through them. I remember anything I was interested in at the time. Apostrophe cumbersome. Oh, apostrophe. Yes, let's let's check apostrophe. Was the definition here that apostrophe in the clue, or is ah look, there's more than one meaning of the word apostrophe. I had no idea. A sudden turning away from the ordinary course of a speech to address some person or object present or absence, explained by Quintilian as addressed to a person present, but extended by modern use to the absent or inanimate. 
the, the, the arranging of chloroplasts along the side walls of the cell in an intense light. I mean, it's... <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. You, you won't be surprised to hear. So, so address there. I mean, that's really difficult, isn't it? Is this the sudden turning away from the ordinary course of a speech? I mean... <laughs> I mean, address, I would say, was the speech itself rather than the sudden turning away. I do wonder whether I'm right in thinking that actually it is that apostrophe in the clue that was being clued by 14 across. I'd be interested in the comments. Oh, let's look at Canid and have a look at that. A member of the genus Canis, including dogs, wolves, foxes and jackals. There we go. Oh, okay, so a jackal isn't technically a dog then. A jackal is a... Oh, it's closely related to the dog. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. Um, is there anything else? We understood We understood mankind in the end, didn't we? Uh, I think everything else we understood. It's a great puzzle, and it was difficult. It was definitely difficult. Lots of interesting stuff, and more reminiscences about my, my youth. And for that, many thanks, Constructor. I do, I, 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 I do think that there is a, a case to be made nowadays for the Constructor's, at least pseudonym, to be revealed. Um, in the Times, they've never done it, because they think that the Constructors want to be anonymous or... Whereas I think nowadays we should give them a bit of, we should shine a light upon them. And uh, and it would be nice to say thank you to them a bit more personally. But that's just my view. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments how you got on. I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.